Hi, good evening. So today, maybe the last video for today, for April. So if you got a solar cell topic or you got new research topic, you don't know what to start. So whatsoever. So actually, solar cell. This is the typical graph involved in solar cell. We have the JV graph, current voltage, or some general reported by RV, and power voltage graph. So what happened here, when you have the solar stimulator machine, a machine equipped with potential state or a machine with within potential state, whatever, when you run your experiment, typically you can get the what we call that um, JAC short circuit current and VOC open circuit voltage so in order to calculate the efficiency you must know the field factor JAC and also VOC the field factor is the squareness of the graph if the theoretically the field factor must be 100% if the graph is square as you can see but in this case the graph graph is not so square so meaning that the field factor is not 100 percent so what happened if your machine you don't have the machine that can calculate the field factor your machine is just a potential state for example if the brand is nova equipped with solar stimulator or the light source 100 milliwatt per 100 milliwatt per centimeter square so you got the light you got the potential state then the machine that you currently have cannot measure the field factor that's why you need to calculate this graph this graph actually you can calculate pv curve you can calculate if you got the information about uh, jac and voc because to calculate the pmax just simply jac times the, the voc then you get the power the axis for power so what happened when we have the axis for current, we got the axis for voltage and the axis for power. So you just plot using using the origin or Excel. You can plot the graph um, current versus voltage to calculate the IV curve. Then to calculate the field factor, you can calculate the graph the power versus voltage. So hence what you got is you can get a new graph which is pv by having the pv curve and iv curve you can get the value of efficiency so it's very simple this only will happen if your machine cannot calculate the field factor if your machine is very good it can directly calculate the field factor so no need to plot the PV curve you can just simply get the field factor value from the machine but my machine is just potential step equipped with the light so my machine using the potential step I use the um, procedure for linear swept voltammetry and I equip with the light source so from linear square potential metric LSV it only can give you the current and voltage it can't give you the field factor so from the formula you must derive as I, I see if I said you must calculate the power and then you must plot the graph and you can get the value of efficiency by looking the formula it's very easy as you can see that okay this is the formula to calculate the PCE power conversion efficiency you, we are saying that the short circuit current time open circuit voltage time field factor divided by power input our power input is um, 100 milliwatt per centimeter square when you convert it into millimeter because the area in millimeter you can get 0 0.1 just in case if you don't know so we are saying that our machine capable for 1000 watt per meter square or 100 milliwatt per centimeter square so to calculate the field factor if your machine doesn't give the value of field factor you can, can you can calculate using pmax time vmax divided by jsc time voc time 100 percent so we when you got the field factor you got the jsc voc 
and divide by power input you can get the PCE so very easy actually so when we got everything ready and you can calculate you can measure your efficiency so you can judge whether, whether your device is good or not maybe your device only can get 1% 2% or maybe it's very good up to 10% so theoretically in the industry or in the literature review what happened for the SSC they reported around 12 point something so if you are capable for what we call that for creating for fabricating something new or a new material or something with high efficiency is very good you can report it so I hope you can get a good DSSC performance so thank you